the game that started it all is back. Not that it ever went away, but Dungeons & Dragons is seeing a massive, massive rebirth that's been gestating for a year and a half since the beta was published. This is the first instalment of what's promised to be an absolutely terrific game. This is the starter set. It doesn't contain everything that the game brings or comes with, but we need to take a look and see if this rebirth is actually having some good constructions. Um, welcome to the GMS Magazine unboxing videos. Now that this starter set is out, we can really begin to find out whether the work that Wizards of the Coast has been doing for the last year and a bit, and the feedback that people have given them, has been actually taken into account. I have to say, the cover is absolutely fantastic. Not just the dragon looks absolutely scary as anything, but it is also a very, very good homage to the original box that had a very similar picture in a completely different style. So I am very happy to see that what, what this is looking like. So let's open this box and find out what's inside. By the way, disclaimer, I have had this box already for a week and I have been trying to avoid looking at any reviews and Taking a look at all the videos, I really have been very, very hard and I have failed because it's been nearly impossible. Everybody's been talking about this. So I already know what's inside. So I'm just going to show you uh, what's in it and give you a bit of, of idea of the quality. Right, the quality of the box is what you would expect in any uh, board game. It's not bad. Actually, it, this should last a fair length of time if, if you don't go all crazy with it. A set of marbled dice. Now this is a very nice touch and I like it because it's not... I didn't know this. These are actually pretty nice looking dice and not bad quality either. Uh, normally I would expect to find really cheap shot plain dice, which is what games tend to have more often than not. They have gone the extra mile and do done something that actually looks very, very attractive. I like the blue colour, I like the marbling effect. Nice recesses in the numbers, very easy to read numbers, absolutely lovely. Very, very good first impression. Now we have one, two booklets. Few sheets and some advertising with a character sheet. Let's take a proper... Oh, and some padding. Thing. A fair bit of padding. Um, I'm not sure why, but it's fine. It makes the whole thing <laughs> a bit, look a bit more impressive. Why should I complain about this? Anyway, I'll tell you what. Let me... By the way, I really am very excited about this, okay? See? Really excited. Sorry. Geek coming. Let's take a look at, we have two booklets, the starter set rulebook and the lost mine of Fandelver. I think that's how I'm meant to pronounce it. I don't know. What do they look like inside? Nice layout so far, lovely artwork. It looks pretty easy to read to me, uh, I like that. It, it has... Yeah, it's what I would be expecting. I love the artwork, really do. I wish there was a little bit more. But considering what it is, these are just the rules, 
you know, I am not going to complain. The, this is quite inviting. I'm, I'm looking forward to reading this. Damn, that's gorgeous. <laughs> very, very nice indeed. Oh, spells, look at that. Excellent. The Adventure, which has 64 pages, which are not to be sniffed up. Um, that's, that's not bad at all. And a larger version of the, the image that you can see in the cover, and you can see the magnitude of the whole thing. This is lovely. Same layout, which I would be expecting. <laughs> now, I, I, I'm sorry, that is a fantastic map. That is brilliant. Um, for the newcomers, I mean, the people who've not been as long as I have into the hobby, uh, 20 or 25 years ago, we used to get these really hexagonal maps, very, very distinctive maps. This is a leveled up version of, of that sort of maps. It's absolutely terrific. You still have your hexagons. The feel is very, very much the same. But the style is a lot more modern, it's a lot more attractive, it's, it's beautiful looking. <laughs> this is gorgeous. I was not expecting that, I have not seen that. This has made me very happy. Uh, the adventure continues, more maps. Uh, again, looking really lovely. Everything seems to be very nicely. Oh, by the way, apologies if you can hear the birds. We, we have a lot of birds outside. And we need to have the windows open because it's very hot when recording this video. <gasps> look at the goblins. Look at the goblins. They look badass goblins. They don't look like the usual goblin that seem to be there just as minions, just, just to be killed, uh, just because. No, these look actually, these look quite badass. They really are stepping things up with this edition. <laughs> I'm liking this. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm, you know, salivating a little bit. What can I say? This is terrific. Ah, oh, we have a dragon. We have a young green dragon. How wicked. How terrific. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is just brilliant. This is so bringing me back to my years of, of, of youth and becoming a D&D &D fanatic. This is wonderful. And yet, this is something I'm, I'm, I'm actually liking. Let's look at this, this goal to start with. The box of the game mentioned that this is for a 12-year-old or older. Uh, which is fine. Yet, look at that. That is not holding any punches in, in terms of being scary, in terms of being gory, and in terms of actually being brutal. Th this is a game for clever kids. I love that. I really, really like that. They, they, they're not holding their punches. They're saying, you know, this is a game for a great adventure. This is a game for, yeah, let's not have fear about this. Let's, let's go for it. Brilliant. I have absolutely no worries, no problems whatsoever with that. Loving it. Oh my goodness, look at that beholder. Well, spectator. Beholder. Very, very good. Love the artwork, love the layout. Love the feel of it. Just just looking at it, it's, it's just making me want to um, um, play the, the whole thing. <laughs> it's, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. And at the price it's being sold, quite frankly, you cannot, really cannot go wrong with it. Let's take a look at the character sheets. The character sheet also feels very, very much like the old Advanced Dungeons and Dragons edition. It really does. 
but they've had the common sense of actually making the abilities bigger, more prominent, because you're going to be using them all the time. Things are very clear, they're very easy to see, and you have plenty of space in the back to write your story, your equipment, your levels, what's going to happen in the future, so on and so forth. You know, I cannot tell, obviously, how much this is um, because of feedback from the users or simply because they have actually done some research and, and done things properly. But this starter set is meant to be the elevator pitch to what's to come, to the game that's to come. This is brilliant. This is absolutely fantastic. What I have also heard and seeing an awful lot of people do it is comparing with other box sets. Now, some people have compared this with the Pathfinder Beginner box set. I completely disagree with that. This would be perfectly comparable with the Star Wars Beginner set. Because this thing is not giving you absolutely everything you need to play the game forevermore. Um, this is giving you something to get started. The Pathfinder beginner box set gives you everything you need to actually play forever more uh, and, and play for a very, very long time at the very least. This does not. This is not what this is meant to do. This is meant to be something that you can sit down in one afternoon, read it, play with your mate, find out, might say, find out if you like it or don't like it, and then invest in the rest of the game. This is what this box should is meant to do. And as that, what's it's done? incredibly well, incredibly well. Quite frankly, I think I paid about £13 for this thing. I would pay it again, easily, hands down. The future for Dungeons & Dragons sadly has, I'm not going to say it's brighter, but the colour palette that it's being painted with has become brighter. Whether the final result you know, the canvas is painted on, the picture is painting, it's going to be worth it, I don't know yet. But this, this is amazing. Very, very well done. So happy. <laughs> so happy.